Hello everyone, Reverend John Hare and I have a message for you from the Temple of Light Centre for Spiritual Living in Kingston, Jamaica regarding the coronavirus and the protocols that we're being asked to take as a community and in fact the whole, the whole world is being asked to observe these protocols. I guess the first thing I want to say is that our number one pri primary protocol has to be to keep our minds on principle, the principles of science of mind. And what is that principle? The principle says that we are spiritual beings living in a spiritual universe governed by the use of the spiritual law for cause and effect. So what that means is that we recognize what is going on is a human experience, but we look at it with the understanding that it is all spiritual. Believe it or not, even the virus is spiritual. It is coming along at a time when the world, I believe, really needs to look at how we relate to each other. And if anything good comes out of this, it is going to be the fact that we find new ways of holding our hands, even though they're encouraging social distance. We know together that the love, which is the love of God that created all people out of itself, knows no social distance, for love is all embracing. And that is what we are going to be practicing as we go through this, this special time in the history of humankind. And so the Temple of Light and the Spiritual Living will no longer be having public Sunday services where our sanctuary is open to all who come. Instead, we will be having a service and beginning this Sunday with our practitioner service and it will be online on Facebook Live. So you can, you can access this wonderful celebration by going on to Facebook, Temple of Light, Center for Spiritual Living, Facebook, and enjoy from the comfort of your home a spiritual experience, which is our practitioner's service. And going forward, we'll be doing that on every Sunday. At the moment, we're still going to have our Tuesday evening services because uh, the government of Jamaica has said we can have up to 20 people, and those Tuesday evening services usually are about um, you know, below that number. So we will be having our Tuesday evening services at 6 o'clock for spiritual mind healing services. But Sunday will be on Facebook Live. Uh, classes, we're looking at how we can live stream those and we'll tell you more about that as time goes by. Right now, though, we believe that there is nothing but love going on in the world and we are purveyors of that love and that light. You know, I just saw a wonderful WhatsApp video somebody sent me of a, a, a really loving Jamaican family who are uh, confined to their apartment or their home in Wuhan. And they, they sent out a video which is just so warm and so, so uplifting. And they commented that coming out of that really harrowing experience where the, the virus originated, People have been so helpful. I mean, people have been coming forward to help them with the translation, of course, of stuff, uh, with their shopping, and just making them feel that they have a home away from home. And I think that's going to happen all across the globe. People are going to find new ways of celebrating our humanity by sharing our divinity. I, I know that this is a time of, I suppose, trial and stress for many people but we stand on the principle of love and we extend that love to each other and we, we, you will be hearing from us of what we're doing as a spiritual community here at the Temple of Light to reach out to our congregants and to our friends and families uh, and so we will be hearing more of that in the weeks to come. I just want you to know though that all the while, 24-7, you are in our hearts and in our prayers and I want you just to thank you for joining me on this, in this broadcast and ask you to keep your prayers with us and to join us online for our services on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a real blessing and we thank you for being part of it. God is blessing you now. Namaste.